Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm here to talk about Wi-Fi in schools. Natalie says, I'm concerned about the constant radiation hazards our kids are exposed to from Wi-Fi and iPad use in schools. Would the exposure be significantly more in a classroom full of internet activity? Even though there may be many devices nearby, only the nearest one to a user will have any real influence. The number of devices accessing a Wi-Fi point doesn't really add much to the overall output. This is because exposure to radio frequency fields reduces very rapidly with distance. Even though someone may be exposed from various sources, such as smart meters, mobile phone base stations, or in this case Wi-Fi, it's the proximity to a particular source that dominates the exposure. We recently conducted a study to measure the exposure from Wi-Fi in schools. Our study showed that in a typical classroom, the exposure to Wi-Fi was 500,000 times below the limit of acceptable exposure. This is comparable to the same exposure someone would receive from a TV broadcast and less than a radio broadcast. We see no reason why Wi-Fi shouldn't be used in schools and other places. We continue to review the research into potential health effects of radio frequency electromagnetic energy from Wi-Fi and other devices. You can view the full details of our Wi-Fi in Schools report on our website. If you have a question, please leave it in the comments below. If you liked this video, please share it with a friend.